It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon, just afternoon, and we're at the studio at the Cleveland Institute of Music, and I'm with Konstantin Chomre from Russia, who played two fabulous rounds over the past few days of the Cleveland International Piano Competition. Thanks for speaking again. I really appreciate it. Thank you very it. much for inviting me. Yes, yes. And how, how do you feel now after the first two rounds are over? It's a difficult question. Yes. Uh, I don't know how to answer it. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just a, a lot it's of... It's not easy. No, feeling. no. A lot of thoughts going in the head at the moment. I just try to to think only about music and that's uh -huh. right. It. Right. And I know that um the the two rounds are over, you now have all of today and all of tomorrow before you find out whether you advance or or not and how do you keep yourself from going crazy? <laughs> I walk and, uh, and read. And read? And uh -huh. practice. And practice. And I don't think of, of you know, whatever. It's, it's already. I've done my work and, and uh, now uh, I shouldn't think of this. Mm -hmm. Right. What will happen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, you played yesterday an absolutely uh, stunning Schumann Sonata absolutely beautiful from beginning to end and that's a strange piece oh yes uh -huh. it is a very strange piece um, but i would say one of my most beloved Schumann works and um, it's very spanish you know mm -hmm. uh, i don't know uh, it's one of these early works mm -hmm. sort of like humorous when, when I, I don't know how to explain this, uh -huh. but, but uh, it's definitely beautiful work. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. I mean, when I try to speak about it, I, I feel that it's already not true. You know, when you when you try to describe something uh -huh. um, about music, mm -hmm. you often become sort of artificial. You know, <laughs> right. So. Well, you know, um, sitting in the audience, which I did hear everybody's first round performances mm -hmm. and then selective ones so far in the second rounds, um, one thing that is interesting is the fact when you finish a piece that is in the middle of a part your program and the audience does not respond because they're asked to wait until the end of the full set mm -hmm. to, to applaud. Um, does that make you feel strange in any way, or is it just the simple fact that it is a competition and you know that's going to happen? Yeah, I suppose it's a simple fact, but indeed it feels strange because uh, in real sort of recital, mm -hmm. when you finish piece and audience club, it's, um, I would call it recharge ah. for you, you know, uh, mm -hmm. you uh, stand up, you bow you feel that your mind mm -hmm. has been reset. Uh. Uh, when you play one piece and you have to totally switch uh, for another piece without any you know, interaction, uh -huh. this is quite challenging, mm -hmm. it's true. Yeah. I find it much easier when the you know, public response and then you, you, you do normal act, action. Mm -hmm. right. Exactly. But you're also a very, I uh, would say, no-nonsense player. You come out, you bow, you sit down, you breathe, and you play. Unlike many people, some people come out and they have rituals, they're always moving around, adjusting benches, looking into the sky, and <laughs> many different things, and, and you don't do any of that. And it's, it's fascinating to watch you play, because people sitting around me also, in that you're, you're, you have a very good posture. Is that something that always, you, you sit very, very straight, and your head is always very, very steady. You're not moving around a lot. Yeah. Uh, 
I actually always uh, try to work out uh, my best position because you get into bad habits easily mm -hmm. and I always do and um, including my posture and, and everything so I try to to keep working about, uh, mm -hmm. on, on it otherwise mm -hmm. I'll have problems in future mm -hmm. with my you know spine, spine. And everything. Right. so I think it's quite important to pay attention to these things mm -hmm. but personally I, I'm not that happy often oh. when I see myself mm -hmm. so. Yeah, that's interesting. I, I suppose it's relatively speaking. Uh -huh. <laughs> if it looks good to you, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks good. It looked good to many people yesterday. So, and most importantly, the sound. And you have a very beautiful sound, I must say, very, very nice. So, and uh, also you're playing on the Hamburg Steinway. Yes, I do. Yeah, and why do you prefer that over the New York? There are two reasons. Mm -hmm. First reason, living in Europe, I don't get to play mm -hmm. New York Steinways mm -hmm. at all, mm -hmm. almost never. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I'm not used to them, mm -hmm. and probably I don't know all of specific, you know, mm -hmm. this, this instrument. So because I'm just less less familiar with this instrument first. Mm -hmm. And second, um, I think Hamburg, uh, particularly this Hamburg, uh, mm -hmm. uh, I can't compare generally, but um, has this shine mm -hmm. in the sound, which mm -hmm. I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just felt more comfortable mm -hmm. to play. Yeah. Did you try? I understand everybody had 10 minutes to try yeah, the yeah, instruments. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I tried both, uh -huh. of course. Right. Yeah, 10 minutes, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very short. So you, you cannot really rehearse anything. Uh -huh. You can only try, try to understand the piano, mm -hmm. and, and that's it. Mm -hmm. And all you have. And acoustic. So. Right. Yeah, there's a lot of decisions that need to be made very quickly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you are given 30 minutes or something, you can, you can try this, you can try this, 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 this. Mm -hmm. 10 minutes, just turn on your brain, think here, and that's it. Uh -huh. And you're done. And you're done, <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, and then the next one comes out. Yeah. But you have some very beautiful places to practice here. The Institute is Yeah, warm. to be honest, it's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, fantastic that you can practice from 7 in the morning to 11 whenever you want. Uh -huh. 11 at night. And there are always rooms well available. Mm -hmm. So there is no wa wait or there is no particular time when you have to come. You come whenever you want. Uh -huh. You practice as much as you want. Uh, so it's so flexible that uh, I think it's absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. yeah. it could not be better. Mm -hmm. It's definitely good. right. That's good. <laughs> and the food is okay. I've been hearing some things about the food. <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to answer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, but yeah. And uh, what are are you having a chance to get out and walk around the neighborhood or see yeah, things? Yeah, I did yeah. walk to the lake uh -huh. area. Just it's four kilometers or something. Yeah. Like. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I walked there everywhere. So next walk I'm planning maybe this afternoon to go to downtown. Uh -huh. uh, I know it's a bit bigger, uh -huh. longer walk, but. Yeah. I love walking. So oh, that's good. It's not a problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, right, good. Yeah, I, I, it's a beautiful area here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Beautiful weather. It's, yes. well, it's not too hot, which is so good. Mm -hmm. Because uh, when I came from Europe, it was boiling mm -hmm. hot, and then you feel mm -hmm. dead all mm -hmm. the time. Yeah. yeah. Right now. Right. right. Well, also, speaking of coming from Europe, I know at the opening you had just arrived very late the night before 
and you were quite in a <laughs> in a jet lag, as you told me. And yeah, how long did that take? Did you adjust very quickly with a good night's sleep? It is much easier to go from east to west mm -hmm. uh, because you have extra hours. Mm -hmm. When you go from west to east, then mm -hmm. that is much more difficult. Right. So these sort of things are better. Uh -huh. Right. To go to America. Yes, exactly. That's good. That's good. Well, I thank you so much for talking. Thank you. I really do. And I wish you all the best on, for, thank you very on much. Monday night. I appreciate it.